drop it in front of me. <laughs> so, let's see, let me hold that. So, what we got is the 6 4 prop with the Turnigy 2826 6 motor. I have no idea what that means. Maybe it's a dimension, but I don't care about that. You got 2200 kV motor, um, and it said with like a 7, I could be wrong, a, a 7 4 prop, it would do uh, like 300 watts. Um, but I don't know what it does with the with this motor, or with this propeller. I haven't did a watt check on it. It's doing pretty good. It, my climb race a little bit faster than the stock one. Um, all I know is that the, the uh, Speed controller gets a little warm. I can't really tell my fingers are cold. And the motor seemed pretty, seemed seemed warm, but it wasn't hot. Um, I, I had to cut this away, um, you know, a good portion of it, so I can rip out the uh, the, uh, the wood compartment or the wood uh, bracket that's back here. So. I just wiggled it loose, and it's, it's a pain in the butt to get the uh, the screws back here out. So I had to shove a screwdriver in there, and then get like a some needle nose, and then turn it so I can get grip, so it'd lock into the little channels, um, and then loosen it that way, and then wiggle this back and forth to break the uh, uh, the, the the glue, and then I just finally pried it all out. And uh, when I got it out, I just unscrewed it. One broke, but it's not, not that big a deal. It's, um, and then I swapped this out, and it was a direct fit. And I just kind of shaved a little bit more out of here so I can get some clearance because it's, it's, it's just a little bit bigger. And then the stock one, or the, the insulation right here, came out to about here. But I just cut it back, and then I cut a little ring off so I can get more glue back here. So it's more, it's really stout right now. Um, and then I did, a, uh, I made my own extensions for the, uh, the, uh, the, the, the power wires, the motor wires, and they're, they're about, uh, from here to about, maybe, maybe about there, and, uh, just shrink wrapped it and tied it down, punctured a hole right there, and just dropped it straight down, so I plug it in that way, um. Maybe I, I don't. I didn't really didn't want to put the speed controller here because I'd have to make a new power wire and run the wires down there. And yeah, I have no. I don't have a problem with this. This setup right here. Um, I'm pretty sure. It may, maybe in the future it might help cool the ECS, the ESC, and if you mat it right here. But I, I didn't really want to have uh, to do that right now. I want to see how it would work without it. Um, so the motor is working pretty good. It seems to be pretty balanced. I'm going to kick it up real quick. It's a lot quieter. It's a lot quieter than my than the stock one. And uh, I'll try to get a watt test on it. But it seems to be doing pretty good. I would uh, recommend the upgrade. Um, and what else? Yeah, well, let, me, let me move my hand. Ah, there we go. The, um... The motor seems pretty good on a three cell. Uh, works works fine, 2200 milliamp, and I'm just a, re a refresher. You kind of see the glue that I put in there. But 2200 milliamp, take the washers out of the front. Get some uh, some washers. I think they're three eighths, and there's a couple half inch. Uh, put some black tape or whatever. Velcro so you can balance that on the spars. Um, and it's pretty good. I got metal gears in because the uh, the the way I fly is kind of sporadic. And uh, I, when I crash, I did my big crash. I messed up one of the gears. It was just skipped a little at high rate. And so I just I just had two extra metal gears. I swapped it out. Uh, they're 12 grams. And the elevator and rudder are the stock ser stock uh, the stock uh, servos. And, uh, yeah, I think, I don't really know what else I did to it. Why well, I did, but it's on the other video. This is, this is just the, the video with this upgrade here. The 28, 26, 6, 2000 kV, or 2200 kV. And it seems to do pretty good.
I haven't mounted a GoPro on there and see what it looks like and how much uh, it can pull. Because the GoPro with the housing, I don't know if you can see. Let me see if I can get an image. So the GoPro with the housing is about 200 grams, about, and uh, it, it weighs quite a bit, so I don't know if this motor will be able to lift it. Um, I'm actually going to give it a shot right now and see how, how good it holds.